What's up, everybody? This is another episode of How I Run My Reef Tank. And the topic I'm going to talk about today is going to be power monitoring on the Apex 2016. So I use a reef link in order to control my MP40s, my Vectra, and my Radions. I don't use a WXM, so I don't have it all integrated in one system, especially for feed mode. Now, on my reef link, if I go into feed mode, the skimmer doesn't know that I've gone in the feed mode. The water level increases in the sump and that will overflow the skimmer. Also for general maintenance, if I hit the off button on the Vectra's controller, that will in turn uh, increase the water level in the sump and then overflow the skimmer as well. I didn't want this to happen, so how I fix this little issue is by using power monitoring on the Apex 2016. I'll show you how. All right, so the first thing that I want to show you is the programming that is in the skimmers outlet. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down on our Fusion Apex system to the outlet for the skimmer. As you see that outlet's currently on. Now the outlet has a statement in it that says, if output Vectra M1 watts is less than 15, then off. So what's happening, the Apex is monitoring the outlet for the Vectra. If it detects that the Vectra is using less than 15 watts, it's going to go ahead and turn our skimmer off because that's how we're going to know that the Vectra is either in feed mode or I've turned the Vectra off to do maintenance. So the next thing I want to have you take a look at here is the EB832 power monitor. If you see here, the Vectra right now is using 51 watts. This is how I know that it's on in a normal state. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Eco Smart Live. I am going to click feed mode. And as you see, there's a little box here that tells you your pumps are now in feed mode. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my Apex system. Now on my Apex system, if I look at my Vectra, I see that my Vectra M1 watts is currently 13 watts. Now sometimes it takes the Fusion system a little bit to update on the internet app side. Now if I was looking at the local uh, Apex system, this should happen pretty much immediately, but of course when you're using the Fusion website, it takes a little while for the Fusion website to update. But I could already hear that my skimmer's off and now the skimmer outlet has turned off on the Fusion Apex system. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and turn everything back on, I would just have to go back to EcoSmart Live, go back to the normal schedule. It takes everything out of feed mode. I can then go back to my Fusion system and I have to give it a few seconds to update. It happened instantaneously and I can hear my return pump and everything turned back on. And of course my skimmer has a two minute delay. I use that two minute delay to make sure that the water level is proper before I turn it back on. But we could already see the Vectra is now reporting 53 watts. And in a couple of seconds here, we'll see that the skimmer plug is going to turn on. Oh, there's a skimmer just turned on. So this is how I run power monitoring in my reef. Another way you can use this is if you monitor your outlets for the correct wattage. If you see that that wattage dips, you can send an alarm to your phone to let you know that you may want to check a pump out or something. Well, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you use power monitoring on your Apex or if after seeing this video, you want to start using power monitoring. Happy reefing, YouTube.